and a true masterpiece by its internationally renowned architect, Bjarke Ingels. But it isn't just the architecture that stands out. Deep beneath the surface lies a technological powerhouse, which will set new standards in sustainable energy production and recycling. The plant will be able to convert 400,000 tonnes of waste per year, with an energy efficiency of 99%. Copenhagen's location, in the middle of Copenhagen, makes it perfectly placed to provide district heating for 160,000 homes, and energy for 62,500 homes. Using one of the most effective recycling processes in the world. Amazing place. The Lakeside Energy from Waste facility at Colnebrook near Heathrow Airport. It cost £160 million to develop and it's one of the most sophisticated facilities of its type in Europe. It's capable of generating enough power to meet the domestic needs of nearly 50,000 households. And its exhaust emissions meet the most stringent European legislation. The plant is a joint venture between two specialist recycling and waste management companies, Grundon and Viridor. And it shows what's possible when two forward-thinking companies get their heads and investment plans together. One of the things you Where waste can't be prevented, we try to recycle it. And we're always looking for new ways to recycle more and more waste, and we're getting better at it. But some things can't be reduced, reused or recycled. So what do you do? In what's known as the waste hierarchy, there's a fourth step after reduce, reuse and recycle, which is recover. Or specifically, energy recovery. And that's what an energy from waste facility like this one is all about. It's a smarter and better option than simply dumping what can't material which can't be recycled, known as residual waste, is put to productive use. Burning it at high temperatures under controlled conditions in our modern, efficient, purpose-built facility. The result? Less landfill and lots of energy. This first-class facility processes more than 410,000 tonnes of residual waste each year. Imagine Wembley Stadium filled to the roof with rubbish. That's how much waste is diverted from landfill each year. At the same time, the plant generates enough power to meet the domestic needs of nearly 50,000 massive bunker that can hold 7,500 tonnes of the stuff. Grab cranes mix the waste and load it into a hopper where hydraulic rams push it into one of two incineration lines. At this point, waste becomes fuel. It typically burns at 950 degrees centigrade for at least two seconds. This creates the heat to produce power. It turns water into superheated steam, which drives a high-pressure turbine to power an electric generator. Once the steam has done its job turning the turbines, it's condensed and returned to the boiler. All that's left from the combustion flow process is metal and ash. These are moved away on conveyor belts and the metal is separated by magnets and collected for recycling. The ash is taken away for reprocessing.
course, we need uh, the, the right, the right uh, uh, operating temperature. Yeah. It's 225 degrees. And it's heated from above there to above to, re to recover that energy again before it leaves, goes up into the chimney here. Uh -huh. To recover it, there is a heat exchanger here. Okay. Mm -hmm.